Welcome to our channel. We are Technic Force and we help grow your business online. Please hit the subscribe button to get more updates. How to send recurring emails in Outlook. Recurring emails are particularly useful when you have repetitive tasks that need to be performed at a certain time. For example, say you need to send a reminder to your team to invoice their clients at the end of every week. Instead of manually sending out an email every month, you can set up the email to send out automatically at a certain time. Today, we're going to learn how to send recurring emails in Microsoft Outlook, including the tools needed to do so. This is completely free. It requires no add-ins and also no macros. Let's find out how to do this. To set up a recurring email, log into the website outlook.com. You have to set this up on the web, but you can send your email everywhere. In the top left-hand corner, let's click on the waffle icon. See, it kind of looks like a waffle. This is also known as the app launcher, and this shows all of your different Microsoft 365 apps. At the very bottom, let's click on the text that says all apps. And this shows you all the different apps that you get with Microsoft 365. Look for Power Automate and click on it. This helps us automate all sorts of different flows. This will help us set up the recurring email. Let's click on this option. This drops us on the Power Automate homepage. And you can use Power Automate whether you have work or personal Microsoft account. Right here in the center of the page, you'll see a button that says Create. Let's click on this. This now drops us on a page where we can set up our flow. If you've never used Power Automate before, you can automate all sorts of different processes. If we scroll down the page just a little bit, you'll see all sorts of sample templates that show you some of the different ways that you can use Power Automate. You can automate all sorts of different apps and services and tie them together. It's extremely powerful. If we go back up the page to set up our current email, you want to set up a scheduled cloud flow. The reason why is we're going to define when and how often our email should go out. Let's click on this option right here. This now opens up a prompt. And at the very top, you can give your flow a name. So I'll put in a name. You can indicate when you want this flow to become active. I want it to be active immediately, so I will leave it set to the current date. Down below, you can also indicate how often you want it to recur. Now, if I click on this drop down list, here I have all these different options. I want to send out a weekly email. So here I'll select week and it's currently set to one week. Below, I can indicate the day of the week that I want this email to go out on. I think every Friday would be good. So let me deselect all these other days and just leave Friday active. I think this all looks good now. Below, I'll click on Create. On the next screen, we can start building out the flow. At the very top, we can see the recurrence that we set up on the previous screen. Here, I can click on that. And here, I can confirm that it runs on Friday every single week. That's exactly what we want. Above, I could also modify that. Let's say I want a different frequency for this email. Below, you can also click on show advanced options. And here you could configure a few other settings. For instance, you could set the time zone. Over here, you could also set the hour for when this email should go out. I find that 8 a.m. tends to work the best. That's when people go to work and they check their inbox. And this way, this email will show up at the top of their inbox. That's exactly what we want. And here, you can also define the minute. Otherwise, all these settings look good. So here, I'll collapse this category. Now that we have the recurrence all set up, next, we need to configure it to send out an email. Below, let's click on the button that says New Step. And here, we can now choose an operation. Here, we can see all the different apps and services that we can automate. I'll click on this icon. And this expands the list of all the different connectors I can use. Just an example, let's say instead of sending an email, you want to send out a Teams message every week. Here you could choose Microsoft Teams and you have all these different apps and services that you could use as well. So many different options. Of course, we want to send out a recurring email. So up above, let's type in Outlook and this will filter the group just down to Outlook. Over here, you have Office 365 Outlook. So if you have a paid account, you could use this option. Over here, we have Outlook.com. And if you have a free or paid account, you could use this. So in this instance, I'm going to click on Outlook.com. This now opens up a list of actions that I can automate within Outlook. And here too, you have many different options. Of course, we want to send out an email. And here's an action for sending an email. Let's click on this option. On this screen, I can now enter in the details of my repeating email. Above, I can specify who I want to send this email to. 
Next, put in the subject, and below I'll type in the body of my message. So here, I'll enter in my message. At the bottom, you can also expose advanced options. And when I click on this, here you can copy people on your email. You could also BCC someone, and you could even add attachments. So a few different options that you can look at. I'll hide the advanced options. I think this email is now all ready to go. So down below, I click on save and look at that. It now tells me that the flow is ready to go. That means that this flow is now active and it will start sending out email every single Friday at 8 a.m. They also recommend testing it. In the top right hand corner, you'll see this icon that says test. If I click on that, that opens up a pane and here I can manually test out this flow. Let's click on test. On the next screen, let's click on run flow. And just like that, it looks like it successfully sent out the email. I'll click on done. Right up on top, it lets me know that the flow ran successfully. So that means that they have received this email. Over on the left hand side, let's now click into my flows. On the my flow screen, I see a list of all my different flows, or in this case, the one repeating email that I've set up. When I hover over it, I can manually just run the flow. I could also go back and edit it. Let's say that I want it to run every two weeks instead of every week. And here, if we click on the ellipses, I have a few more options. Down here, if I no longer want to send out this repeating email, I could turn it off. Back on this main list, let's click into the flow to see what additional details we get. On this next screen, I can see all of the details of this flow. And if I go down to the very bottom, here I can even see a run history. And look at that. There's my test that we just sent out a moment ago. And that's it. Microsoft Power Automate can be used with other Microsoft 365 apps. For example, you can use Power Automate to stay on top of your mentions on X. You can also use it to send recurring Teams messages. Well, hopefully this helps you save a lot of time with all of those repetitive emails that you have to send out. Before we end this video, let me introduce to you Postifluence by Technic Force. Rank at the top of the SERPs and drive organic traffic to any niche with the only SEO strategy that still works. Get yourself and your customers free targeted traffic with guest posts on high ranking and high traffic websites. Zoom to the top of the SERPs with 100% organic link building and traffic source. Find tons of blogs and websites eager to post your articles. Get 100% organic do follow links. Only ranking sites, no bad players or dead blogs. Automated email and SMS reach out. Email and phone number of bloggers and influencers. And a lot more. Postifluence builds you backlinks and gets you new traffic with hands free ease. So, what are you waiting for? Get Postifluence now. Just go to getpostifluence.in. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to give it a thumbs up, subscribe for more content, and ring that notification bell. And if you have any questions, please leave a comment below. Thanks for watching.